Hello, and welcome to the First Service Residential Board Member Training Tutorial on how to approve invoices via the community website. In this video, you will learn how to access the community website to review and approve invoices for payment for your association. Let's get started. You can approve invoices via desktop PC, iPad, or even your smartphone. For this tutorial, we will be using the desktop PC. First, open your internet browser on your computer. Internet Explorer is recommended, however, you can use other browsers such as Firefox and Safari. Once your internet browser is open, access your community website by typing in the address in the address field. Your association's website will be in this format. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Nevada dot fsrconnect.com forward slash and then your association's name with no spaces. For example, let's say the association's name is marketing. You would enter http colon forward slash forward slash Nevada dot fsrconnect.com forward slash marketing and then hit enter. To log in, you must be registered. If you already are, please skip the following step. To register for the community website, click the Sign Up Now link below the login field. You can register by entering the unique registration code which you can obtain from your community manager or self-register by entering your email address in the field provided. If you use your email address, you will be required to enter your account number and last name we have on file for your unit. Once you are registered, enter your email address and self-created passcode to access the website. After login, you will be immediately brought to the Board tab on the community website. This area contains specific features only available to Board members. If you are set as an approver for the invoices of the association, you will see the Pending Invoices button within the Board section. Clicking this link will take you to a list of invoices pending approval. On this screen, you can view the association's bank account balances. For each invoice, you are given a quick description of the invoice, including vendor name, amount, and what account the payment would come from. You may also view the actual copy of the invoice that was scanned in by clicking View Invoice. For each invoice, you are given three options for action. You can click Pay to approve the invoice, Hold to leave the invoice in your queue for action at a later date, or select Dispute, which will remove the invoice from the queue and send it back to Accounting and Management. If you just have a question regarding an invoice, it is advised that you use the send email feature instead of disputing an invoice. To send an email to your manager regarding one or more invoices, place a check mark next to each invoice as shown here. Then, click the send email button at the top of the list. Notice it will automatically populate the invoice voucher numbers you are asking a question on. You may also attach any pertinent file to your email. Once you are finished selecting the actions for each invoice, scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click Continue to Summary. This next screen gives you a chance to review what you have selected one final time before submitting. If you are satisfied with the selections, scroll down again to the bottom of the screen and select Submit. You and your community manager will now receive an email showing all the actions taken on each invoice that was in your queue as further confirmation. The process is simple and intuitive, but should you have any technical issues at all, please contact connect nv at fsresidential.com 
and one of our specialized administrators will be happy to assist. This now concludes the How to Approve Invoices via the Community Website tutorial, brought to you by First Service Residential.